complexity. What have they got up their sleeve? It's looking like a bit of a ramp play and Flamey, well, ramp master drops on down and gets out of danger. Boomich comes rotating in, dropping that nade and conceding ramp over to Cole. That might be their undoing now as this B site looks to become a problem. It's oh, Oboe no, in the pistol. Now back on dust. He was a master with this Glock. Is he looking to repeat that now in this pistol round? He's dinked up electronic. Oh, Boomich is around, no. but he can't find the kill on what? a config. How is he still alive? Finally, Perfecto is like, don't worry, Boomich, man. I got you, bro. He shuts him down, and we're into this four on four. Simple helps out with the CZ. And now we need someone to step up here for complexity because suddenly oh. it's all fallen onto a man going by the name of Blame. There's the first down, but Perfecto pivoting deals with him. Navi, they find the pistol. Pistol. Oh my, Navi, that was on a knife's edge. Simple just comes in and saves the day. Look at how many low players there were, just tagged up by Oboe's Glock, doing the damage. Yeah, Simple with a CZ. You always see him get dropped this on, on pistol rounds if he doesn't buy it himself. And he just slaughters there on the retake for Navi. Nice stuff. Clean as you can, uh, as you can get it. And Na'Vi, it's a big pistol round win, right? Especially with Oboe finding that opening kill onto Flamey and B. Looked like it could have all fallen apart. But no, Na'Vi, they hold strong. Deeg's out now for Cole. Simple's in the garage, waiting around with the M4. Trying to spot that cross to secret. Get any info. Uh, he's got to hold this. He's got no support outside. His teammates coming in from lower, which is nice. But uh, okay, that's reasonable. Uh, Simple's going to find two in just uh, five bullets. There's a third, and he doesn't have to uh, fight for this. Okay, he can if he wants, and he does, so he will. Electronics not needed down in secret. It's just Rush with one, swapping to the Deeg, and trying to deal with Perfecto pushed in the lobby. We've seen this Deeg from Rush, but uh, that's all we'll see from it, at least for now. Navi 2 0 up. Simple starting strong. He can drop that to Flamey as well and buy the AWP if he wants. Always an option here. And that would give Flamey the utility for ramp. But uh, we'll see how Na'Vi try to spread this uh, economy over. Honestly, the sooner we get Simple on the AWP, the better. Yeah, he has got it. Flamey's taking the hit. The M4 goes to the hands of Electronic, who did have a rough opening map, but Nuke, uh, we know how good he can be in that secret position, constantly rotating outside. He's doing it again in this round. So let's see if he can put a stop to Blame. So pre-player pre break, when we saw Boomich on Nuke, he was just the, the wildest stallion I've ever seen, man. Like this guy. <laughs> He would always just be playing SMG and like rush these lobby smokes and stuff. It feels like we've seen him temper that aggression a hell of a lot. And, and you know, I, I do think it was starting to become a bit of a problem for Na'Vi. Like when it was working, it was great. It was funny. You know, everyone was having a good time. Um, but now we see him, you know, just floating in between main, playing these more like standard positions. And I like that from Boomich. He's a smart guy. I don't think I, I picture him having to rush in and out aim all of his opponents. I like him out braining them. Here he is alongside Perfecto. And here comes that aggression from Boomich. Signature Ooh. by nature. Flash goes around. And are they going to clear this close angle? The moment he hears these players falling back, Boomich aggresses in through the hut and just blindsides poison. Convict's gonna follow up and the MP9s get made quick work of. Simple even falls without getting any usage out of that AWP. Electronic now trying to hold down the B site and he will rally the players around him now with the rotation coming through from Perfecto and Boomage. The blames inside of the A site. Obo begins his rotation back up through ramp. Blame is going to lock this side of the map down. Perfecto. Oh. In the vent, if he tries to come on up, he's in for a nasty surprise. You can see all three players looking for a safe passage over towards secret. And actually, as I say that, Electronic is going to come up the vents a little bit later. Once his teammates have got a bit of a foothold here in the site, the attention drawn away from main, and that's Obo caught out. Blame F now in the clutch, tagged on the initial peak. Electronic and Boomich getting closer. The flash is very, very good indeed. But he's getting wrapped, and this should be the lock in. Na'Vi, they mop that one up. They recover from what was a three on four. Yeah, they rotate heavy B, and I don't blame them because Config finds this double opening kill on ramp and uh, even drops simple with the AWP, who misses his opening shot. 
Na'Vi, they rotate heavy lower. Blame does find that timing that's, that's so nice, but uh, yeah, Na'Vi, they, they realized it before Cole had even you know got that bomb down. They were already rotating secret. And Electronic stays vent because that allows him to jiggle on the ladder and get info. He also has a flash as well that he does save until the end. But uh, yeah, it lets him, uh, lets him spot his head up. It's a dangerous play if there's an uh, enemy top heart or close door, but there was not. And so he gets the info for his team. Navi find the retake. And things are looking a lot better here on this CT side. Cole broke for the time being. That bomb plant's given them a bit of sustenance, but it will be coming down to just pistols with a Galil and a couple of Mac 10s. Top side rush coming through. Rush setting up the flash, and they're going to go quickly in. Oh dear, Rush has got the entry, and Electronics has gone as well. This is falling apart for Na'Vi on a round that it really shouldn't. That bomb getting planted for main. There is cover and a smoke down. Flaming is simple, finding quick shots. And actually, sorry, the smoke was not in main. It was towards door, and so an open killing ground for Na'Vi. Simple finding two big flicks and denying that bomb plant for Cole. Well, our analyst down on the sidelines in uh, in Dupree has weighed in with hither with. Oh my goodness, I've ruined that, haven't I? Yeah. Ru weighed in. Oh my God, Dupree, weighed what have you done to me, man? Opinion. Yeah, there you go. Thank you very much, Frankie. He said, "Simple, we'll drop 35 plus frags this map." Trust me, that's what he said. Maybe not like a pirate like I did. It's just loads of Danish A's, which I don't know how they differ from other A's, but they do. I'm firing Dupree. I think he's completely wrong. Ooh, Maybe that's quite a cool. That's quite a cool to make, Frankie. Frankie, speaking You're going over. Going toe to toe with Dupree, Astralis legend. Okay, okay, things are heating up a little bit here. Let's see. We got a war between Dupree and Frankie. One that, you know, if history's anything to go by in the show matches, Frankie's pretty keen. So. Let's see, Flamey trying to hold on to the ramp room, gets Ooh. bested right away by Rush. Man advantage taken for complexity and ramp now locked on in. World's their oyster at this point. They can wrap hell, they can try and get into the A site or they can just drop down into B. They do have one man firing some shots off. That was Rush, but it's not a commitment. This has, however, forced a real change in this hold from Na'Vi. They drop players down preemptively into that B site. Complexity now going back to the lobby, looking like they want to try and split A. And nobody is inside of this bomb site for Na'Vi. Perfecto has just rotated into heaven. He's going to be able to get this information, but is it too little too late, especially with Blaine ready to pincer Electronic, who just gets blindsided. Down goes Perfecto as well, and this should be a call round. Yeah, that's a really good luck. He's, you know, Blame lets Electronic get in there, not aware, of course, which could have gotten very dangerous if he mows down those door players after A looked clear. But uh, he comes in after Electronic fires shots. He finishes him off. And Simple, he's going to fall in this one. But he's still 8-2. Frankie's looking at me like she's right. He has eight kills, Frankie. Keep that in mind. We're only five rounds in. Let's give it time. Let's wait and see, because I... Just for Frankie, he's about to break three. the world record, hit like a 60 bomb in one game of nuke. I'm all for it. I'm I, ready. I want a competitive series here. and I don't want Na'Vi getting blown out of the water, especially after that performance on Dust. I think now they definitely know what they're up against. They know it's not going to be easy, but the results are there. 4-1, Cole find there first. Na'Vi are broke, but Simple has indeed got that AWP back in his hands. Ooh, the spam is good. Bit of damage to blame. He will get down. And he's actually on his own as well. We've got late lurkers from the rest of Cole in getting into this position. Electronic won't see a thing. These smokes will fade soon. And so they need to get into their spot. Simple. He's in the right place. He's found the right time. But has he got the shot? Yes, of course. It's simple. Config down. Simple repositioning around the other side of the vents, and that might just send Navi, oh sorry, Cole out of this position. They want nothing to do with the Ukrainian AWP prodigy, and so they'll go back towards outside. Ooh, electronic, better damage through the smoke. Now complexity. Creeping and crawling their way into heaven. Navi, no. Yeah, this is, this is the... This is a nice response, right? This is what you'll see. If you lose outside control CT sides, they often then retake this lobby area just to solidify that it's not going to be a split in through the lobby. They get that control. They have an angle into, and now they only have to watch main and heaven. However, that's still a task in and of itself. An electronic, while he is good for one, he gets mopped up very, very quickly afterwards. 
Simple in the heart, looking for another. An oboe just going to come out ahead there. Flamey dropped in heaven, and it all falls onto Perfecto. Well, he does get the first man. Immediate trade from Poison and a second on the board for Complexity. Yeah, Navi, it felt like they had that info, right? They clear lobby, they know what's going on. They're a little scared of Secret, considering Simple fell back out of it. But him and Flamey hang around on ramp. And yeah, we have Boomich fighting Heaven with a CZ. Now, when I watch pros use that gun, they're incredible. And they hit some great shots. Like a Favon on Nuke yesterday. But yeah, holding that angle with that weapon, it's just so hard to get much value out of it. And that gives Rush the entry into A. Complexity just collapse on the site as a result. Poison from the main side. Cole, they've broken Navi's money nice and early into this game. Flame's going to move down lower. I love how fast he is. He just runs this one every single time. Electronics not even ready for a player to be there. And the rest of Cole are walking. So Navi, they can go, oh yeah, Flame is B. But they don't know about anything else. They have no clue that the entire entourage of this T side is creepy crawling behind red to secret. There's still Rush waiting in the lobby as well in case Navi want to try and get info and position. They do anything but. They rotate outside to come through secret, flanking complexity. But this isn't a position that's going to catch anyone off guard. Obo should go back and watch, and he does. Navi now considering lobby. They can find Rush. That's a gun, but he is keeping his distance. And a very safe play from Rush on an eco round here. He doesn't need to farm kills. He just needs to get out alive and deny Navi taking away his AK. Boomish is so cheeky, man. He wanted to run into the end. He wanted to transform himself into the Dojanade and do as much damage as he could when that bomb goes off to take players down. But didn't exactly go that way. It's a third on the board now for Complexity. They, they really started to get back into the swing of things here after that, after that kind of troublesome beginning with Na'Vi looking good on the back of the first few rounds going their way. What's the response going to be from Na'Vi? Simple on a Famous. In fact, pretty much everyone on the Famous. Electronic is the only guy like laughing to himself. <laughs> That's why you don't buy kits, Simple, says Electronic. Simple, team player. And now the A play looking to come through. They've already lost Boomich very, very quickly. Oh, Perfecto didn't realize they were already in the site. It's down into the belly of the beast. Electronic on the other side of this smoke. He has dodged these shots. He's, he looks even ready for Rush tucked behind the boxes. There's the first, not quite the follow-up as Config somehow, some way, still fighting. It's a fourth on the board for Complexity with Flamey having a save. I just love how Blame calls these rounds. He, he always knows when the right time to make a, a rush round like that uh, that happen, right? He knows that Na'Vi have low utility. And as a result, that A site is so much more susceptible to players just pushing fast out of hut and door. Config with a triple opening kill, rush alongside him. I love that tag team one-two punch of Config and Rush entering into sites being such a hassle. And well, Na'Vi, another round that will be forgotten, at least for them. It's just Flamey getting away with his lone FAMAS and nothing behind it. Na'Vi, they have to equal this one. Just look, look at this tactic. It's so good through the smoke into the head. Config finds three. Yeah, it's just casual. It's just chill. Nothing too special. It's Cole finding a fourth, and Na'Vi, they've got to take a bit of a breather here into round number nine. Worth noting as well, Cole have a hell of a lot of money, so even after Na'Vi eco this one, that, I imagine, is going to be even higher up, and Na'Vi are going to have to win many rifle rounds, or at least do damage in the ones that they do lose to break that bank, and that's always such a hassle on the CT side, right? Now, in this position, it's equal, it's fine, and... and you know, this game has become more T-sided. We, we're seeing that in play. But uh, for Na'Vi, uh, for, for Cole at least, rather, you know, they, they are set up for a winning half, really, with the bank that they have right now. And it's only going to get better. Yeah, not much for Na'Vi to work with here. 
And Complexity, they are quick to get Blame F across. They throw like a diagonal set smokes over here towards outside to facilitate yeah. that crossing. Blame's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Simple. This is a fight I would pay money to see. And we get it for free. So how sick is that? Blame. He takes this. Anyway, in the vent. And Blame locking in that kill. Now into a five on four. And this is now the penny dropping that there's a man down lower. This might jiggle around this this hold from Na'Vi just a little bit. And that's exactly what Blame wants. That's the whole reason for him being here in the first place, is just to make the remaining players now get a bit uncomfortable. Electronic and Boomich, they've got this crossfire between main and outside, but Boomich gets smoked off. He's going to struggle to live up to his side of the deal. So he goes through the smoke and gets beheaded by Oboe. This round's falling apart. Complexity, they're on to a winner. They're on to a fifth. Yeah, it wasn't an eco for Na'Vi, right? And they, they were gambling. They were giving up, uh, up a lot of positions. Ramp was open. Electronic was giving room outside because he had no other choice. He had to hide uh, at the back of the garage. And that's just giving Cole so much room to strafe out, take these wide angles, clear yard. And they're so slow and sweaty at doing it as well, right? It's not like they're just rushing as a unit down towards B or, or taking over a ramp, which could be stacked with pistols. No, they're just they're just waiting. They know that eventually as he smokes fade, Na'Vi want to try and get info and see where Cole are going. And another round with five alive by the looks of things. And it continued down our little path of our all Danish secondary broadcast talent, Hugo. We actually have a tweet now from Pimp that I found very, very interesting. Yeah. And he always makes good points, does Pimp. Uh, I'll give him that at least, right? So uh, <laughs> he tweeted saying, one thing that's massively underrated is the understanding of an entry fragger's stats. If you play like Dupree or Electronic, you can't hide on the map. You're out there and you're in the front fighting all the time. Players like Simple, Device, etc., can hide a bad performance better. And that's quite interesting because I've never, I've never, you know, obviously we know the entry fraggers are the guys running in, leading the charge. I've never, I've never thought about it in that way, right? But it is very, very true. Like when you have people like Electronic, you know, standing tall alongside the rest of the squad, the guys who are going in first, it is that much more impressive because they are the, the front of the battering ram. You know, they're the things getting churned on up on these site push pushes. So it's like, yeah, they have more chances to get kills, but uh, also they have a lot more stacked against them on, on every single one of these uh, takes, Hugo. Damn, dude, that Jacob guy's smart. He should be an analyst. Also. Yeah. <laughs> Any pimpers in chat? 5-4, Cole. Yeah, dude. Better than simpers. Obviously, uh, there was almost a world. Probably. Pardon? We prefer pimpees. Pimpees. Pimpers to the pimpy to the pimple. And well, looking for a spot towards outside, it's complexity. As they slowly but surely meander their way outside, it's going to be electronic holding the line here. Simple gets boosted up into this little goblin corner, the goblin king of Na'Vi. Oh, oh. <laughs> someone <laughs> fell on his head as he tried to jump. Who was it? Who's the culprit? I think it was Rush. It was Rush. Nice convict to jump up onto Silo. And now they start to move through outside with these smokes to accompany them. Yeah, Simple's lower. He's taking up Electronic's position. They've swapped out. And so Electronic's going to try and flash him into a spot. But at this point, Cole are already crossing. They're already getting down to B. Oh, you can see Poison as well. They're doing it again. Cole just waiting as he smokes fade, hoping that Na'Vi assume they have more room than they do outside. Late utility coming in. Molly towards credit card. Config throws it deep as well. Electronic, he's going to try and pivot behind his blue box. Config knows there's only one place he can be, and he's going to remove him from the round. Now, Simple, he is so far away from doing anything. He's deep in B, and he's waiting for this cross down. But Cole, with that kill, are going to go towards A. They're taking heaven. Config is in a big spot. Flamey has been pin uh, pinched out by Poison from hell. There's still two players on A. Boomich in the hut could deny the bomb. And Perfecto, he can't hold on. It's Boomich's chance to shine. 11 seconds on that clock. Flashing out, trying to be an issue. Oboe's blind. He needs to uh, put that bomb right down. His teammates are chasing them. Four seconds as the plant comes through. Only just for complexity. And simple, sadly, sorry, but you're avoided this time. As is often feeling like the case. Wants to try and hold on to the M4. That's really all Na'Vi have to look forward to at the end of this round. It's a sixth on the board for complexity. Hugo, heading into this game, we were saying that whatever these two teams face, it feels like, you know, it's always a three-map series. It's always the map picks of each team going their way in a reasonably dominant fashion.
But that is not looking like the case right now with Dust2 siding in favor of Complexity pretty one-sidedly. And now this T side really starting to get some momentum behind it. Config even reaching Max Cash alongside Oboe and Poison. Uh, complexity that I, I don't see a world in which this half at least falls apart. No, especially not with, as we mentioned, that money that continues to build with four alive in that round. Like the, the last four rounds in a row that Cole have won, they've only lost two players across four rounds. Like that's crazy, man. And, you know, it's not like they're playing into what Na'Vi want to do, which is like chaotic uh, CT size, lots of fast trading where Na'Vi can get those one-on-ones or 2v2s and, and close them out. No, Cole are just <laughs> sweating the time, sweating the clock, a plant with a second remaining that round. And now they speed it up. Now they go quick. The utility isn't there for Na'Vi. They've not even seen Oboe. There's a player on top of the hut. He's so blind and now he's dead. Simple has to do it all here from heaven. Finally in a position where he can put a stop to this play, but the Molly is going to send him down the ladder. Flamey has taken up that spot instead. Electro getting spammed that is a lot of damage simple he's tucked in main he's completely rotated round they're not going to expect this but the smoke oh no that might even just force a save for navi they need kills and they need them now electronic swapping the orb could flash flamey into the site i think electronic's just saving no matter what happens here at this point he's flashing from ct here comes flamey from upper rush is ready for it electronic blind after flamey's flash dear oh dear this is or, or, or vice versa rather that's just so unlucky. Not just the smoke in main, which basically, again, renders simple useless. But the flashbang doesn't even hit its mark, or at least it wasn't dodged by Flamey. Not correctly. Rush pivots from behind the boxes. And yeah, okay, Navi get away with an AWP and simple on the rifle that can be swapped back. But I'm really just looking for positives here, and there are none to say. Complexity, they are in full control right now. Simple, he was 8-1 and one at the start of this map. He's now 10-6. and six. He slowed it down, and that's all due to complexity. Two players on 15k, post-buy, of course. Oh, I want to try and go fast into ramp. Flamey, oh, he's forced to take this fight. And while he does get one, that's the end of his journey in this round. Now falling onto the four remaining players, Simple immediately rotating into B, and we might finally get Simple having a taste of the action. Here he is on the AWP, but oh, it's the only glass. the tag through the glass. Disaster for Simple. He lands the shot he needs to land. Sadly, he just falls a little short. He's got to watch from beyond the grave, but the rest of Na'Vi are at least doing right by him. They've turned this into a three-on-two retake. Now, Complexity back on Dust. They won numerous two-on-fours. This one is one step easier by comparison. Na'Vi, they slow right down. They've got Perfecto over here at ramp side. Poison's holding for it. There's the peak. The Deeg missing, but it oh. doesn't. On the third and fourth, Rush holding for the window peak. Down goes one and poison him with the trade. Complexity eight as another round that stacked against them goes their way. The money still, I mean, it's 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 unreal. 16 grand on almost everyone now. This is this is incredibly dominant from Cole. Of course, Symbol gets cheesed by that glass, right? He shoots config, but he, he hits him through the uh, through the glass, through the pain, and he feels the pain as he only does damage. Think about how when Cole have like taken ramp and done things like that, or even thrown those outside smokes and, and sent Blame fast. Navi have heavy rotated to B with like three players, and then the amount of times that Blame's walked out A and Cole have and Cole have gone back. Well, Navi they've been burned before, so they only rotate one man down, and as a result, when it actually is B, they're not ready. For for it and Cole they just take the site and take the round now an eco for Navi once again we've been here before electronic coming up secret oh he almost catches blame but blame swivels and hits the shot and now Cole look at the room they've got off the back of that right Navi send one down lower they're gonna try and push lobby it's a good call but it's exactly what Rush is expecting and he takes down flamey Boomich has picked up the secret position but it's of little value when not only is uh, blame watching it from outside but the rest of Cole are flanking a we got config in heaven they have so much control in the map right now uh, and the info is there Navi has been spotted and dealt with nine to four they're just reading them like a book, man. They know what the Navi's protocols are. They know where these rotations are coming through. They know how Navi react when complexity takes certain areas. And the results are showing. Nine to four on this T side. Navi, they were 4-0 up in this map.
We've had some incredible nuke games here at Cologne. Not just that Sprout 13 round T side yesterday against OG to get to the playoffs, but this is a great cool uh, half as well from Cole. Oh, first time we see a bit more aggression here and Electronic has not been discreet in it, blame. Big old pair of ears and he's heard it. Well, he's fought simple, Ooh. simple playing up on top of the garage. It's not often that you're ready for that. So blame getting caught. Ramp aggression once again. Blame has been struggling here and the struggle will continue. Simple quickly though. He was outside. Ooh. Now he's got a triple at ramp. This man, while he's felt like he's been nowhere in these last few rounds, now he's everywhere. And that's what we need from simple. The glass taken out, poison. Caught with the molly, but Electronic can't find the kill. And Poison, 1 HP, still alive, still able to play uh -oh. into this round. He tries to plant. But yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a worry. Oboe now left in the clutch. He was 1v3. He's turned it in to a 1v2. Oboe. An instrument of death. It's another, but he gets caught. He tried to go back through the window and he didn't jump. That's a disaster. Close, but no cigar. Na'Vi, they'll take a fifth. How poetic is it that in the one round Na'Vi finally get, Cole still take down four players, right? They still make it so expensive. So even as Na'Vi win that round, it's not like they can have a sigh of relief. Like, oh, now last round of the half, guys, we've got everything we need. We can set ourselves up. we got the orb. No, you haven't. You are still broke. Simple's got that AWP at least, but nothing behind it and a pistol on Boomich. And we've seen him struggle on that A site. Pull back to the yard. Blame is going to go knife out very fast. Electronic playing in the garage. And I like these smokes as well that Cole are throwing. The, the, you know, we usually see when you want to go for those wide ones, one main, one sandwich, and one garage. But these ones give Navi even less room to look for gaps. And, you know, play in the corner of those gar the, the close garage position. You see players sometimes sit in them and, and spot feet, spot legs across the secret. Navi don't have that luxury. And it's only Boomich on B as well. Now he's playing a position for info. He's jump spotting. He's going to be able to call for rotations. How many did he see? Oh, now he knows. Now he knows. Run out of there, Boomich. Config's trapped him, though, with the door open. He's stuck between a rock and a hard place. And, well, funnily enough, both of them are hard places. Electronic and Flamey taking one apiece, but Complexity plant on B. Yeah, decon plant. And this time, there are players there to hold on. Na'Vi, they often approach these very, very slowly, very methodically, trying to group up before they make a play happen. And so as they move these players into position, that's given time to Complexity to get ready in this post plant. Poison. Oh, the timing oh, could be worse. Back in, and down goes Simple. Oh, it's another for Poison. Can he get this third? There it is. Poison should have got this round dead to rights. And even maybe the fourth, Flamey will respond. But a 1v2 caught by <laughs> behind them. This is a scary looking call right now. And a Na'Vi that have fallen silent. Yeah, this is a time to get loud, though, for Na'Vi, right? T-side, their chance to control the pace. Whatever the practice uh, results have been, it's time to show us what you got in your brain. Simple running yard fast. Blame is giving a lot of room outside. He is spotting and backing up towards CT. The flash is good. Poison's blind. And Simple's got the opening kill onto Rush. Great start. Oh, there's the trade. So immediate. Config waiting ramp side. They were not ready for that close spot. And he will trade one for one. McCall, a man up. Still with a kit in hand. Na'Vi. Where did they take this bomb? It's looking like it's coming out the door. Electronic. Oh, he hits a very good timing. Blame. Oh, I don't think uh, Electronic's going to be ready for this position, though. He's not looking at it. Blame hits a shot, baited in by the player in hell. And Perfecto is in hell, st stuck in a one on three. Complexity already climbing up the ladder. They're already back on A, so it's not like that gap that was once open is now an option. He's got to win this fight, and Obo just won't give it away. And now even a rotation into ramp. If Perfecto keeps going this way, he's running into quite the sticky situation. Blaine crosses, Obo dinked and finished off now by Perfecto, but down through hell, there's another man. They're just grouping up. They're keeping Perfecto boxed on in. 30 seconds here. Oh, this man. Bomb on his back and that's all he's got going for him. 
wants to try and get down into this B site. Poison gets the info. And now Perfecto is well aware. The complexity know what's going on. Blame also broke the glass. That's yeah. great. That gives the illusion that he's not here in Decon. Perfecto's <laughs> got no idea. Blame, oh. what a way to lock in the round. Yeah. Perfecto's just getting teased. He might get the bomb planted, but no, they deny it. I love that from Blame F. So smart, man. Breaks the glass on his rotate down. And then, you know, you, you saw the confusion for Perfecto. He thinks he's like deduced it. He thinks he's put it together. But he couldn't be further from the truth. We got Mr. Lake and the fan cams, though. He's there. He's ready and raring to go. And I mean, of course he is. Yeah, of course. He's the biggest fan of complexity. And I don't blame him right now. This is incredible. 11 to 5. We know how loud those comms get. If anyone hasn't seen the complexity comm videos, I'd recommend you check them out. They are very entertaining. Um, complexity, yeah, they, they get hyped, man. There's a lot of big personalities on this team. And for good reason. Ooh, the fake vent drop. It will get swung, but Boomish wants nothing to do with it. Config has at least got his attention diverted, but this is not a round where Na'Vi have a lot to play with. They're relying on two deagles on Perfecto and Simple. Na'Vi, they're just going to crunch ramp. Oh, tricky for O-Boat. So many bodies coming his way. One is all the... Okay, no other dig out from Perfecto. And now into this three on three. That's gonna force a rotation out from Config. And look at Na'Vi, tricky as ever. They just slow it right down. And Config drops that smoke and that's gonna give him a veil to cross behind the silo with this MP9. So they don't have to worry about B right now. They're gonna have that information nice and early. Simple here, going back into the lobby. Now, will he be ready for Rush who has aggressed into this little corner at the hut. The rest of Na'Vi slowly but surely clearing out hell. Simple, oh dear, there it is. The aim punch wrecks him. And this is complexity back in the advantage. They've got to check this close corner config versus no armor. He could shred them to pieces. They drop on his face, but he shoots them right back. Config, oh dear, just hiding in the back of the site. They have no idea. And it's nice and easy for complexity as it should be on that eco or anti-eco rather. There's a there's a chance there's some damage done by Na'Vi, but now they have to capitalize on the damage here with the rifle round. This is it there. You know, that's a danger of, of not only getting 10 5 but then losing uh, the pistol as well. You're at such a disadvantage. You're really relying on one or two gun rounds in your entire T half. And if you don't win both of them, you're going to be in a very tough spot. They already are. Which is on uh, UMP. Is he going fast somewhere here? Maybe towards the top of main. He's actually in the door, so looking to drop vent. I like that idea. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Chasing them down. Config was not ready for that quick hunt. And Boomich is going to be in B already. Complexity, they're going to have to send some hard rotates down because Na'Vi aren't going back to the yard despite Simple sitting here. They're running down secret. No B rotates here for Colt. Yeah, they've been very patient on it, right? And it's not uncommon for Na'Vi to show their hand, slow it right down, and then change things up. But this time, it does it like a B commitment. Simple here. That fight means everything, really, because, you know, when it's a four on five, you might be looking at that as a save for complexity. Now that it's this four on four, curious what the decision is. It will be a save call from Cole. Obviously, money isn't great, right? So they're just really trying to play a numbers game, as it were. You know, they want to keep this cash in good standing. I like this little setup as well. They send three back into CT to save, and then they leave Rush over here, hidden over towards hell. So if these players in CT start to get hunted, they're going to have like a little crossfire set up on anyone from Na'Vi. Not going to get to see the fruits of this uh, come into play in this round. For Na'Vi, it's more important that they keep their own money in good standing than it is to hunt down complexity. But it's nice to see Na'Vi arriving very, very quickly onto the board. And that one kill from Boomich onto Convig makes all the difference.
Yeah, you put it right when you say that uh, Complexity are playing it by the numbers. It's definitely the safe call, right? It's a winnable round to retake B, but with them having gambled anyway, going, okay, guys, there's no point like risking losing two or three players and then trying to save. It's either all or nothing. Let's let's assume that Na'Vi aren't hitting this B site. Let's hope for the best. And okay, if that doesn't come through, we have a full rifle round. We have another chance. I imagine if Na'Vi starts to do the same you know, pressure down lower, we'll actually see what Cole have in store in terms of those rotations. Na'Vi... Back to Yard, though. Blame. Oh, he got spotted. Boomich is definitely seeing him cross towards Secret. And so Blame is going to get the hell out of there. He won't hang around and try and fight on the stairwell. He'll move instead towards the back of ramp, breaking the windows. He's got loads of util as well. He can defend against a ramp rush, but that's not what Na'Vi are doing. They're setting up more Yard smokes. And, and these are more standard wide smokes, right? But the danger of this is, is you can have players peer through the gap at Sandwich and also the little juts in front of Garage as the Garage smoke lands kind of deep. You sometimes see players get cheesed by that. So that's why we see, not, uh, sorry, Complexity uh, throw like a different variation of them, like the diagonal smoke, as you call them, Harry. So just worth noting. What's the utility going into this A bomb site? Navi, are they going to try and push in behind it? They've mollied out the CT vent, they've smoked off main, but no movement yet. They do have Boomich ready to wrap in over here through main. And so they've been waiting for him to get into position, but while this has happened, Perfecto's actually been taken care of. Play meth playing up here on the rafters, gets bested immediately, and Poison follows a similar fate. So it's Oboe and Config left in a very unlikely 2v4. Especially when you look at Config having to begin this long rotation in through Secret. Electronic is holding for it. Now, if that fight is won by Config, maybe there's a chance. But already you can see complexity. If they weren't willing to attempt a four on five, I don't know about the two, uh, sorry, four on four. I don't know about the 2v4. Obo could flash Config into this engagement. He knows that the player is close there. Maybe he's moving, though. And yeah, you're right, Cole just giving it up there, hoping they get an exit, but Obo misses the timing. He can catch Boomich, that's something here. But it's nothing more than a kill, and that's an assumption anyway. Boomich wins the battle, very aware, and Na'Vi gets seven rounds. Slow and steady wins the race. They are not dropping the ball just yet. It's good to see them actually find some rounds in the second half, right? Especially after that performance back on Dust. And eight, seven and a half, things were competitive, it looked good, and then Na'Vi got swept. Not going to be the case here on Nuke. Ooh, Config trying to run the uh, simple garage spot. He's done damage onto Electronic Crossing, but not the killing blow that they were hoping for. The rest of Na'Vi still back in lobby. And it might be a repeat from that last round here as they get the same man back into secret in the form of Electronic. And now Na'Vi actually going to look at the pins of this B site but with two players in at ramp and a dink landing immediately. That's enough to turn them away. Config continuing his aggression, spotted there by Boomich, doesn't want to overplay his hand, especially with Electronic having already crossed into secret. Oh, he's just gotten into main in time. The so Config has dodged death. He lives to fight another day. Is that going to make all the difference here? As we're still in a five on five. Outside of like seeing each other for a moment, these teams have, have hardly caught whiff of one another. Ooh, this boost is interesting. Config can go up to heaven. He can fight stand-up rush. He can fight rafters. He can even get a ramp rotate in off the back of this. Might be needed. Na'Vi have got control. Are they going to use that to take lower? You'll notice Electronic from Secret has already cleared out most of these positions. And so now he can make the cool guys. B looks good. Let's get down here. Let's take lower. Cole have had a lot of trouble with these B rotates. And they're going to go for it because they've got nothing to lose in this round. Rush just running them down. It's going to be punished. Config does take simple in the meantime from the same position. Position. Oboe spotted, he's going to swing and flamey, nice little spray there. Bit of luck potentially as he runs away and takes Config with him. But this was not a round the complexity really should have been picking up anyway. Na'Vi going about the motions, doing what they do best and finding an eighth.
And what? you just know that all throughout this round, Blame F has been coming up with solutions to this problem, right? I can't wait to see what this next rifle round entails and how exactly complex that you want to approach it. Because we kind of already saw them testing the waters for a bit of a different approach there. You know, you send your one rifle in config, aggressive outside, he gets that early info. Nothing really came of it. But it was all just them, you know, like seeing what they can get away with. And now they have a good idea of where is a little more empty. Poison even gets away with the M4. That's a big win. No armor. I was wondering if he'd actually survived there in the back of Decon. But he gets there just in time. And with 6 HP, he will live to tell the tale. That's Config's M4. And Cole, their buy is going to be that bit better as a result. Look at this second kill. Or I guess third kill. But second you'll see in this replay. Starts moving takes the drive by all out for poison none for simple yet but these rifles have been doing their due diligence for Na'Vi we're going to see fast plays out A oh Boomich gets the knife on the Molotov it's a deep one as well that Cole throw that's nice not just the molly that lands in front of the door but in expectation that the door gets blown off the molly lands inside so it's going to do even more damage it's going to deny Na'Vi even more presence and so they have to slow down off the back of the start That molly thrown by a CT has actually put out the smoke in a bad place. There's big gaps. You can see that Electronic is moving through, and Poison has so much info as a result. Blame may have just made the 400 IQ chess move. I think it was him who threw the molly. And even though Electronic gets into garage, Blame should be ready for this. Poison's made the call. Electronic seems very aware, though, of a player being here, and he will hold his ground. That kill there onto Blame, giving over a 5 on 4. The double drop into main, quite the pain for Config. And a 3 on 5. Na'Vi trying to claw their way back into Nuke. Down here in Hell, this engagement between Oboe and Perfecto can mean everything. Oh. He just sees the barrel. Perfecto creeping forward at the worst possible time. A 3 on 4 now. Electronic still in the garage, wants to get out of danger, tries to cross back, and Obo looking the wrong way, what? flicks back around. Poison's found Boomich in the meantime. This was a three on five, 10 seconds, and they try and run into this A site. Flamey falling, and Poison with the double to get another round on the board for complexity. It, within the context of that being a three on five, losing that outside control, having to effectively retake outside, they do such a good job of digging themselves out of that situation. That should have never have been a complexity round. We think about how stubborn Cole have been to rotate B in some of these rounds. Well, right there is the first time Navi actually try and take that A site. And who's there? Everyone from complexity. They, they don't want B anyway. As so a Navi walk right into the trap, that is such a well-held round. Perfecto, man. He gets cheese. You can't say anything but that. Config, well, he's got some Gorgonzola of his own because Flamey threw the smoke dead. That is not how you wanted to start the round if you're Na'Vi. Whatever the game plan is, where you've lost your lurk in the lobby, you're down to the ramp play. Obo, he's here to hold it. He can take a shot and drop off with his AK. Got two players moving through. There's the kill. He's hanging around for more. Obo wants everything. He wants the trophy. He wants the playoffs. Poison missing the shot. Obo drops with the his and doing more damage. This is probably the time to give it up right now. There's three players here. Obo just doesn't stop killing everyone here for Na'Vi. It's on electronic. He's late to the party. And Obo's already taken a chunk out of the birthday cake. One on four. And now the support from Lower coming up as well. Oh, what a turnaround. Complexity. It was looking a bit scary. Na'Vi was starting to get back into the swing of things. And now, as quick as they arrived, they're also maybe gone for Na'Vi. Up against 14, losing the last two in a row. No bomb plant. Presenting itself money starts to become a problem for the Na'Vi squad. And no such problem to be found on the complexity side. Ramp just doesn't falter. They lock it in. And that was just desperation from the start, right? Na'Vi had nothing. No grenades going out on ramp. Flamey's already dead. Keep that in mind, right? Na'Vi already limited when it comes to utility. But they just kind of stroll out ramp like, yeah, guys, this will be fine. This will be clear. They kill the AWP after Poison misses a shot. But other than that, it's just Obo lighting up the scoreboard. 91 ADR. He's not even top fragging. Doesn't need to. Life of a ramp player.
doing it when they come his way. And it also makes sense why he was hanging around, considering how these B retakes have just not been apparent for Cole. So, yeah, he just wants to die in that position. He wants to hold on for as long as he possibly can. And, well, he'll hold on till the next round. 14-8. This has been a really rough series from the second man of Na'Vi and Electronic. He is 15 and 36 across both maps so far. Putting him at dead last for Na'Vi, not what we're used to seeing from him. And if they want to recover this, if they want to get us to a third map, we need a classic Electronic showing. Especially here on Nuke, you think about how important he often is over here towards outside. He's normally the difference maker, it feels like. Obo just waiting, hoping that fights present themselves. Flashes, smokes, Molly, he's blind and he walks into a Molotov for 50 damage, but Config has rid them of Perfecto in the meantime. Boomich was spotted up on top of main, but while this is happening, while the attention is drawn in, Simple is wrapping the garage. Spotted now by Blame F, his little tippy toes giving Ooh. Simple away, who just gets whittled down. And that might save Obo's life, right? It's kept Simple away from this peak. Bought them even more time, and now they know about his whereabouts. Electronic had a chance there down on B to find the Orb of Poison, and he falls short. <laughs> but now they flush Oboe out, so we're into this four on four. Electronic is still just being a nuisance and taking attention away, but Config, oh. there he is, dropping the bomb, flaming out the A-Site falls, and it's just Electronic at a 1v4. Oh dear, Config, he starts this round the same as he started the last by killing another player through the main smoke. And then he drops Vent and just deals with everyone coming down B. Electronic has to run. There was no time left. He didn't want to live after it or die after it. So he'll go down before. And like you said, he had a chance, Harry. He, he, he gets that big flank into the ramp player. He fires off the Deagle. He whiffs it. And yeah, that's just the round at that point. Oh my, this is a great game for Cole. And Na'Vi, not what we're used to seeing. Worth noting, this isn't for elimination, right? Na'Vi, this isn't the last time you'll see them in the tournament. Uh, loser of this matchup is going to go down to the lower semi uh, inside of Group A to face NIP for another spot in the playoffs. So that's going to be entertaining. And Cole, of course, right now, one round away from being up in the playoff alongside Sprout and Astralis, who both made it there yesterday. We're going to have one more playoff team as well qualify uh, with the, uh, the G2 Heroic matchup later on. I'm very happy that Complexity are starting to get through so cleanly as well, right? Because this is a very, very scary looking Complexity. They've made this game versus Na'Vi look so damn easy, and, and, and that's not easy to do, right? Even in games where Electronic isn't showing up, because it has happened before, you know, you're up against Simple, and you can't ever discount that guy enough. So, it's an A play, a desperation play from Na'Vi to try and keep this match alive. And boy, oh boy, is it getting shut down right now. Rush delivering the hold at the very, very 